Welcome to 3D Flow Academy. This episode will focus on point cloud and mesh filters. Filters are used to post-process what Zephyr has generated automatically. By applying these filters, you will have more control over the final geometry, either for export or as an input for the next phase in the Zephyr pipeline. Decimation and Densification These two filters can be applied to both dense point cloud and mesh. The decimation filter will regenerate the selected workspace element using the maximum specified point count for point cloud generation or the maximum specified vertex count for mesh generation. Depending where you want to use your final 3D model, you can use this filter to quickly decimate the geometry to the desired value. Using this filter will decrease the detail of the generated geometry. Opposed to decimation, densification will regenerate the workspace element and interpolate data to get to the specified point count or vertex count. Please note that this does not mean that the final workspace element will have increased the detail. This is often useful if you want to test the export function into different 3D modeling software with different model sizes. Keep in mind that in 3D modeling, a higher vertex count does not translate automatically to a higher detail. Like in photography, higher resolution does not translate automatically to sharper images. To better explain this concept, let's quickly see an example. The following meshes have been generated from the same photos using different settings. This first mesh has roughly 1 million polygons, composed by around 500,000 points. This mesh has twice as much polygons, 2 million polygons composed by 1 million points, and yet it is clearly less detailed than the previous mesh. Always remember that quality and poly count are two very different things. Hole filling. You can fill holes in any mesh using the hole filling filters. From the selection window, it is possible to select which hole has to be filled, either by direct selection or size. A preview is shown by highlighting the selected hole's borders. The color of the triangles that will close the hole will most likely be wrong as it is impossible to identify the color of something that is not being seen by any picture. If color is important to you, you will have to fix it in external post-processing software. Two filters are available, watertight and selective. While the selective one can close holes very fast, it might not always work for complex geometry. Smoothing filters. The following filters can be used to smooth out the surface by removing noise and are very useful especially when dealing with low resolution photos and thus less than ideal output from Zephyr. The Laplacian smoother will never try to keep sharp edges, so it's more suitable for organic subjects, such as a human face, or when dealing with curved surfaces. The bilateral smoother will try to keep sharp edges, so it's more suitable for non-organic subjects, such as buildings, objects, and such. Smoothers can also be applied to a sub-selection of a mesh using the Filter Selected Items button. Retopology. Remember to enable the wireframe mode in order to have a better view of the current mesh topology. The retopology filter can also be applied to a subselection of a mesh using the filter selected items button. You may use this filter to let Zephyr execute the mesh retopology algorithm, which will simplify or densify the poly count while generating a better organized mesh with uniform triangles where possible. Running this filter may result in mesh detail loss, which sometimes can still be recovered by applying the photoconsistency filter afterwards. Regular grid projection. This filter is available for dense point clouds only. You can define a regular grid over which the dense point cloud will be projected and regenerated. This filter is mostly used in topography. Photoconsistent mesh optimization. This filter will adjust the triangle position to maximize the photoconsistency of their reprojection. This filter will be discussed in its own dedicated video tutorial. Please note, that this filter is already enabled in some of our presets, and while it is possible to run it multiple times, it's not always necessary. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to join our 3D Flow Academy Facebook group in order to connect with us and to vote for the next video tutorial.